and we are back hello everyone welcome back to 5 minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of deed code and geeks for geeks so without wasting any time let's get started today's problem is product array puzzle which is marked as a easy level problem let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given one array arr of integer type and what we have to do so we have to return a new array and that array length should be equal to this given array arr dot length and what these what this new array should con contain this new array should contain each index of this new array answer array which will be containing the product of all the elements of this array except itself product of all elements of the array except itself okay so it might be a bit confusing but let's quickly understand this with an example as well so here if you will read construct a product array result where each element in this result is the product of all elements in the given array arr except arr of i okay all right let's quickly understand this so basically this will be if suppose this is my resultant array answer array so for the first index for the zero index what i will do it will be containing all the elements of this arr except this itself 10 and we have to return the product of all this 3 5 6 2 which will be equal to 180 so i will add 180 okay and after that when we move to first index now so on moving to the first index what i will do i will have to return the product of all the element except this one except this first index i will not include it and then the product of 10 5 6 and 2 it will be whatever 600 so we second uh, index will be containing 600 in this way we have to do for all the elements and we have to return this new array i think the problem statement is pretty simple and will it will be clear to you but believe me this problem is not easy at all if you want to solve it with optimization okay all right so let's quickly move on to the approaches one by one which we can think of the first approach is very simple what we are going to do basically uh, we are going to use two for loops nested inside one another first loop will be let's say i at any time i can be at any index and then j inside nested loop j index will be starting from zero till the last and will be containing the product of all the elements except itself and i will be storing that inside this array arr okay i think uh, it's a pretty basic thick code so if i want to write it let me show you how we can write it for int i is equal to zero i is less than arr dot length i plus plus and after that what i will do for int j is equal to zero j is less than arr dot length j plus plus and here inside what i will do i will keep a product which will be equal to one and uh, if i is not equal to j what i will do i will simply do product multiply by equal to arr of j and at last uh, if our resultant array is anything i will simply do answer of i is equal to product okay so this is our brute force code which i have written very quickly but the issue here is my arr dot size is as greater as 10 raised to the power 5 and this is n square time complexity which will give me time limit exceed okay so we have to optimize our approach okay so one uh, and another approach which is coming in my mind is basically what i will do i will first of all get the product of all the elements of this array okay so what is the product of all the elements of this array 10 3 5 6 2 and i think it will be equal to 1800 so the total product of uh, this whole array is uh, 1800 and now what i will do very very simple it is my answer i is this so i will keep on iterating over this whole array again so my 10 is there 10 so what i will do i will simply add 18 in the total product divide by 10 which is 180 okay all right cool after that again i move to this 3 so now what i will do 1800 total product divided by 3 which is equal to 600 i think it's a very optimized code isn't this if 5 it is so 1800 divided by 5 which is equal to 300 i think 360 and in this way we will constitute our answer array i think it's a pretty good code but the issue here is issue here is let's suppose there is one element which is zero there is one element which is zero so on calculating the whole product on calculating the whole product i will get only zero 
because the whole product if any one number if any one element is zero the whole product will be zero i think you guys have got this so now how i am going to fill this my answer array if my whole product is zero then all the elements will be zero which is wrong okay which is wrong so we have to think of one approach for this so what approach we can do look there can be three cases there can be three cases first case is when the zero count is zero when there are no zeros if there are no zeros our first approach will work that i will calculate the product of whole array and whenever we are filling at let's suppose at i index so product of whole array divided by arr of i okay so that will work for zero number of zeros are zero okay all right after that uh, second approach can be second way second possibility can be like number of zeros are one okay number of zeros are one and third possibility can be number of zeros are greater than one okay so look if number of zeros if number of zeros are greater than one in that case my whole answer array will be zero my whole resultant array will be zero i think you guys have got this because at any point there will be one zero included if number of zeros are greater than one so our whole answer will be equal to zero okay but but if number of zero count is one if number of zero count is one what we are going to do is basically let's suppose uh 10 3 5 6 2 let's suppose this element is zero okay so in that case look in that case only all the other in my answer array uh all the other elements will be zero except that element except that index which contains zero because look for three if i will be calculating for three its product will be 10 into 0 into 6 into 2 which will be zero okay similarly similarly if i am calculating for let's say this two so the product will be 10 into 3 into 0 into 6 which is equal to 0 okay but if i am calculating for let's say this 0 the product will be 10 into 3 into 6 into 2 which is not 0 so only one element will be non zero and that will be that element which is zero okay so this is a bit irony but uh, we are going to do this so uh, there are three cases which we are going to fill so let's see how we are going to do that one by one and i think the approach will be clear how we are going to do that so basically what i will do i will first of all what i will do i will simply run a loop through the whole array and count number of zeros first of all count number of zeros and second thing is if the element is not equal to zero i will try to get the product of it i will try to get the product of it okay and after that i will simply three cases which i told if number of zeros are greater than one i will simply return a whole array with zero if number of elements are is zero equal to if number of element equal to zero is one that element which is zero will be the product and others will be zero and after that the third case is key i have got the whole product number of zeros are zero so we will simply do the total product divide by arr of i i think uh, you guys have got this and uh, it will be very clear to you as well so please uh, try to code it by yourself by pausing the video okay i think many of you will be able to code it but if not let me write the code of it but before that if you have not subscribed the channel yet please subscribe the channel and give some good comment it will really motivate me a lot now let's move on to the coding section so if you remember what i told first thing let's make one answer array list uh, let's make it as rest because it's given in the problem statement and before that i will use int n is equal to arr dot length because we are going to use it multiple times n okay after that there will be few other variables let's declare it upper upper only above only first one will be my uh, let's say total product which will be one and another thing will be zero count and which will be currently zero okay all right now what i will do i will simply iterate over this whole array with using a for each loop for int i of arr basically for each loop will help will only give my me elements one by one so if i is equal to zero basically means that element is equal to zero what i will do i will increase my zero count and uh, apart from that otherwise if my element is not zero what i will do i will simply uh, update my product so my new product will be product is equal to product into i so we can write it this, this way in short form okay now after coming out of this for loop here on 49 line 
I will try to check how many zeros are there. So if zero count is greater than one, it means all the elements uh, will be zero in my answer array and we will simply return our result. Because in Java, uh, if nothing is filled in an integer array, it will be containing zero. Okay. Now another thing is ki, yaar, if zero count is equal to one, okay, then we are how are we are going to tackle this? So very very simple it is. I will again use a for loop. This time I will use a for loop i is less than n i plus plus and look if a r r of i is equal to zero it means only that element will be filled with my product so uh, result of i is equal to total product otherwise it will be zero so it is already zero so no need to do that and after coming out of this for loop here i will simply return result okay but if I will come to this 60 line. It means number of zeros are zero. Zero count is zero. So now it's very simple. We will simply use the first approach which we discussed. I is equal to zero. I is less than n. I plus plus. And result of I will be equal to total product divided by ARR of I okay and after coming out here I, I will simply return my result I think it will be clear to you now again so let's quickly compile this and the code written is very very uh, in layman language so that everyone can understand this I'm using prod here I have to write total product product something like this let's quickly compile this again meanwhile if you have loved the explanation please subscribe the channel hit the like button and do a good comment yeah it will really motivate me and if you are thinking what is this watch tutorial button so i have made a chrome extension for you as well which you should see in the comment pinned link and that was it for today it's getting accepted i'm going to see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding and bye